I want you to see those goals right in front of you. Remember why you chose to be here, why you chose to spend this time getting that body just a little bit better. Come on. Ha! I know that lower body is on fire. Fire! That's all you should be feeling. You are right there. Keep with that power. Woo! Get after it. Tap into that core. I think you can do it. You versus you. But it's not just you. It's you and I together. Stay with me. You got to fight for it, all right? Three, two, one. Breathe. Feel that heartbeat. That's the rhythm of life. You did it. Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. That's how you do it. Hi, this is Lauren. I'm your coach today. We're gonna get into our race prep endurance-based training. This is a 30-minute workout. We're gonna get into our intervals, about three minutes. We're gonna really try and increase our heart rate and our stamina. Let's go, add 0 0.1, 0 0.3, we're in our hard zone. We do have another 30 seconds or so before we increase. But if you wanna get it in already, I won't stop you. Race day. You gonna be okay with just staying the same pace? I think the rally, you might be able to engage more. That's what we're working towards. And we're up. So you're here for a minute. Get after it, get some. Oh, everyone, round of applause. Excellent job. Exhale out. Bring your speed down a little bit more. You did such a terrific job. So honored to be here with you. Thank you for working out with us. I'm Simon, and I'll be coaching you through a 25-minute high-intensity interval training elliptical workout. This program is for the advanced athlete that's confident in his or her ability. We got a big push coming up. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one, let's take it up. Six levels above your steady level, which we're just at, and your pace, 80 to 85. This is your fastest pace so far. We're gonna push for 30 seconds. The fingers are gonna be light, right? and really trying to engage that upper body in that core. When I count you down, you just lean back a little bit. Three, two, one, we start to pull down. We're focused on engaging the lats, the traps, the rhomboids, but don't creep into the neck. Level down as much as you need to. Again, I'm Simon. Thank you for joining me on this elliptical machine. I'll see you back here soon, signing out. What is going on team? My name is Nikki Pebbles and I will be your workout partner today. Today's workout is a 20 minute advanced fusion ride where we're going to be working on high intensity intervals while having a upper body dumbbell portion. 80 to 85 RPM. So let's do it. One minute right here. Then we have recovery. If you're feeling like you're easily going over this right now, over 85 RPMs, maybe you need to turn up that resistance. Three, two, one, let's throw those legs down. So let's grab those weights right here. Tricep extension, you're down, up. Keeping that neck elongated, chin is not down like this. Five over that steady level. 80, 90 RPMs, we're here for 30 seconds, that is it. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Whoo, thank you guys. I'll see you again soon. I want you to see those goals right in front of you. Remember why you chose to be here, why you chose to spend this time getting that body just a little bit better. Come on. Ha! I know that lower body is on fire. Fire! That's all you should be feeling. You are right there. Keep with that power. Woo! Get after it. Tap into that core. I think you can do it. You versus you. But it's not just you. It's you and I together. Stay with me. You got to fight for it, all right? Three, two, one. Breathe. Feel that heartbeat. That's the rhythm of life. You did it. Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. That's how you do it. Hey, welcome to your 15 minute beginner endurance workout on the ARC Trainer. My name is Justin, I'm gonna coach you through this workout today and you've got an awesome machine here to work out on. Get that incline up to six if it's not already there. 
and resistance. Keep it light and easy. We're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Feels like you're gliding. If you stay low in the knees, you're gonna feel like you can move a little bit faster. Up next, we're gonna take the incline, not on an up, but we'll, let's call it a decline instead, okay? We're gonna take the incline down to two to three levels from where it's at. Envision your final minute. This is where we're gonna go way over the top. I'm talking 10 levels of resistance over your steady level. Slow it down, resistance down, back to steady level or below. Awesome job. Way to finish your workout. Welcome to Light Fitness. My name is Cheryl. I will be your coach and training partner today for this 25-minute endurance power mill workout. All right, today with this endurance workout, our theme is going to be mind over matter. We are going to establish our steady level. Steady level is going to be about 60% of your max effort. We're going to skip steps as one drill. Really try to use your legs to push yourself up, not those arms that are resting. We got this. Woohoo! Yes, it should be uncomfortable. Here we go. Back to steady. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Let's keep moving slowly. Get our heart rates down because they should be through the roof. Carmel is a great way to burn it up in a quick amount of time. Happy to be your coach today and look forward to seeing you and any of your friends you want to drag along soon to another life fitness workout. What's up, everybody? I'm Mary O, and I am back. Today, I've got a 25-minute advanced endurance workout. As you're doing this every other step, push through the middle of your foot to your heels. That's going to activate your glutes. We're going to increase your speed by one to two right now. And now I want you to turn to the right. We're walking laterally. Take your hands off. Let's march. March. It's that point in time where the legs start to feel heavy. Carry them. I need you to focus on that finish line. That's such a great feeling. Knowing how hard you pushed yourself. You should be very proud. Till next time, my name is Mary O. See you later. What's up, Life Fitness? My name is Arturo. Now it's time to work. Now it's time to sweat. This is an intermediate hills class. Let's go. Come on. Don't hold back. We got this. You own this machine. Stay with me. Don't fall behind. Can you give me another speed increase? Yes, you can. Let's do it. Come on. Empty the tank, everybody. Yes. Ten more. We started together, we're gonna finish together. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody, let's walk. Yes. My name is Apuro, I'll see you soon. in front of you. Remember why you chose to be here, why you chose to spend this time getting that body just a little bit better. Come on. Ha! I know that lower body is on fire. Fire! That's all you should be feeling. You are right there. Keep with that power. Woo! Get after it. Tap into that core. I think you can do it. You versus you. But it's not just you. It's you and I together. Stay with me. You gotta fight for it, alright? Three, two, one. Breathe. Feel that heartbeat. That's the rhythm of life. You did it. Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. That's how you do it. What's up, Life Fitness? My name is Kenny, and we've got a 35-minute advanced endurance ride for you today. Getting ready to add four to five levels of resistance and drop down 65 to 70 RPM for two minutes. So you're pushing and pulling here. You're using your quadriceps, but you're also using your hamstrings, your glutes. You get a really holistic move. If you want a little bonus, hands. Position three now, belly button tucked in, make it really tight. 
It almost feels like a bicycle crunch. What do you think it got its name? So anywhere between 80 and 100 RPM, that's a huge range. And make sure it's heavy. We're really gonna stack it up. This is a 90 to 100% effort coming up. You ready? You are an advanced rider. Not because of anything specific physically, but because you had the mindset. Until next time, guys. Peace. What's up, class? My name is Bo, and I'm going to be your trainer today for this 15-minute beginner's endurance workout. We're going to put our level right up to an easy level, somewhere between a 3 or a 4. Our RPM should be anywhere between 60 and 70. So always make sure to look to that bottom right corner. Stay right in that range. I'm going to tell you every single time we change. Bump it up. We're going up two to three levels. We're maintaining at a 70 to 75 pace. Three, two, one. This is our nice recovery, guys. We're going back and forth between active and steady recovery. Stay with it. In through the nose. Out through the mouth, guys. Big breaths. Control that heart rate. Good. Woo. That was our beginner endurance workout. Everyone did a fantastic job today. My name's Bo. This is Life Fitness. I'll catch you next time. Hey, everyone. I'm Jen. We've got a really fun 20-minute intermediate hit style workout for you today. I'm going to go ahead and stay right at a 5.0 for my easy jogs today. Again, you might be below that or you might be a little bit above that. We take that speed down in three, two, and one. So hit style workouts are all about combining a really hard effort with a really easy recovery. I want you to listen to your body always. You do the recovery that feels good to you. Drive those knees up. Looking great, everybody. Two blocks in the book. We got one more block to go. Eye on the prize, guys. You are killing it right now. We walk in three, two, and one. Walk it down.